We've got the Minnesota Lynx against the New York Liberty. Um, from what I, everything that, I, that I've seen, Minnesota, like I didn't really pay attention to them during the season. They seem very, very scrappy. They are way down. And first game, they came back in New York and actually beat them. Second game, they almost came back. And then, and then New York pulled away at the end. But uh, uh, Deacon Hill, I'm going to start with you. Just thoughts on what you've seen so far from the, the WNBA finals, which are, which are the, the highest rated WNBA finals in the history of the WNBA, which is, which is big. Yeah. And they also had like 18,000 people in, in the arena that night. But um, like you said, I hadn't really been following, but I was watching a um, partner interruption with, uh, with Mike Wilborn. And he was saying how exciting the game was. And he said he even turned away from the 49er game and watched and watched and watched that game. So then that's that what caught my attention. But like you said, I started, started reading up on them and stuff and they play again tomorrow. They play the series is tied one, one. And they play game uh, three tomorrow, and it's the best uh, three out of five. So they don't play a seven-game series; it's only a, a five-game series. So I'm definitely going to tune in tomorrow. But I was looking at that the the the, the star for the uh, for the Liberty, and her whether her name is um, um, Brianna Stewart. That girl, she had 21 points, eight rebounds, five assists, and a singles half uh, high, seven steals. That girl was off the chain. So that. And then, like you said, they 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 always the Liberty jumps out to a, a big uh, lead in both games. The first game, uh, Minnesota was able to come back, and then again, again they jumped out to like an eighteen point lead. The second game, and they came back and made a scrappy game. So I, I could see what uh, uh, Michael Wilbon was talking about how exciting the game was. So I'm definitely tuning in tomorrow to see the, see them play. Well, they were up like fifteen with like three minutes left. I mean, so yeah. they came back like right at the very end too, which has got to be. Ugh. I mean, in New York too. That's. That's just man. Talk about popping the balloon of your of your fan base, <laughs> uh, brother Bill. Yeah, I think yeah. So I believe from a sheer team makeup and talent wise, I believe Liberty have the advantage. I mean, Brianna Stewart, she's you know regular season twenty points a game, their points leader. Um, Jaquel Jones gets you about you know, almost you know ten rebounds a game, and Sabrina Ionescu, Ionescu, who I remember seeing when she was in college, she's good for like six assists a game. So they're a pretty well balanced team, but with Minnesota, you've got uh, Nafisa Collier, who's their leading points and rebound, you know, person. And so it just seems like the Liberty can do more offensively. Where they got into trouble is their defense in the second half of that first game. And so I I believe that it's their I don't say it's their series to lose, but they definitely don't want to lose game three at Minnesota because it's funny because in a short series, which, you know, again, best of five, I just surprised with it being a finals. It's not a best of seven. Um, I think the WNBA is leaving some revenue on the, on the floor, but that's a different story. But I, I I'm interested to see um, how the teams play in a, a pivotal game three, when it's only best of five, if Minnesota gets game three, then they're really in the driver's seat because then they could close out the Liberty at home. On on Friday, yeah, brother James, have you had a chance to see any of the uh, the finals? No, I was actually traveling this weekend, but uh, I was like Deacon Greg said, I was going to try to tune tune in tomorrow because I, I heard I was hearing rumors how good it was. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when, you, when anytime you have like a big underdog story, because the Liberty were the number one team for the for like the season, so people are expecting, oh, it's in New York, and there's and I think there's like that big town, small town kind of, oh, and of course New York's going to win, it's going to be overwhelming for and. I mean, and in, in, in reality, like the WNBA is not used to playing in front of 18,000 people. So you're also, so you have like, it's a huge game, but then you're also playing in front of bigger and bigger and bigger crowds. And it means more like that's, a, that's, a, I mean, it's almost like a, like college football when they, you know, you're playing big games and stuff, but then when you get to the finals and you're playing, you know, in a football stadium and there's like 70,000 people, 80,000 people, it's a, the whole dynamic is different. 